Hello everyone from Technology Kibi. In this video we will introduce you 4D new generation underground imaging programs. Open the program by clicking on our shortcut icon. On our main screen there are three working modes above, one folder icon that we open to save footage and three icons required to use the program below. If we talk from bottom to top, bottom left, there is a connection icon that allows the phone to connect to the product via Bluetooth. Icon in the center next to it is the icon for the user manuals folder where you can access the user manuals. On the right is the language setting icon where you can adjust the language settings. On the top side, the folder shaped icon to the right of the four icons is used to open previously saved footage. The pointer icon to its left. The live view icon on top of that and last the two, three and four underground viewing icons on the top right. Let's try to explain it using the program. Without Bluetooth connection, operating modes will not be active. Therefore, we first connect to the product via Bluetooth connection. Uh, when we click on pointer mode, we see the pointer screen. There are four buttons and a... There are two indicators. The one on the left is for reset. The one on the right is for turning the pointer sound on and off. And the one in the middle is for pointer sensitivity. Above. Let's see how the indicator works. Uh, this was a negative sense. This was a positive sense. Let's run the live scan mode by pressing the live scan icon. We see the live scan screen. At the bottom of the screen there are three icon on the left. The one on the left is reset. In the middle, start and stop operation. The one on the right is the 2x3 toggle icon. Pressing the middle one, we're starting the imagining. Sensing is currently 2D. Click on the relevant icon for 2D, 3D and 4D underground viewing. Uh, we are now on the page where the settings for the area we will be shooting. Here. We will make settings related to the area where we will shoot. Let's see what these settings are. Manual icon at the top left is the icon where you can set whether the sampling in the shot is taken manually by hand or automatically by the product itself at a certain time interval. Ok, when we press it once, the product automatically samples itself at a certain time interval. When we press manual, instantiate the sample by pressing the button, or we are performing. The second button from the left is the icon where we set whether the shooting starts from the bottom left corner and continues to the right or starts from the right and continues to the left. When we press it once, it starts from the right and continues to the left. Uh, when we press it once more, it starts from the left and continues to the right. The third icon from the left is the icon to set whether the shooting will be zigzag or parallel. Zigzag shooting is the sampling process that is taken by going forward on each path and coming back when it ends. Parallel shooting is the sampling method in which sampling is done by coming back to the beginning at the end of each path and starting again at the beginning of the next path. The icon on the top right is the icon where the width of the shooting area is set. The larger the width of the capture area, the centimeters should be set here. The second icon from the right is the icon for the size of the capture area. This is the icon where the length of your gravitational field is set in centimeters, depending on how big it is. At the bottom is the distance you will leave between the two samples, that is the icon we call the step interval. By clicking here you can set how long your step interval will be.
you should set the shooting area at least twice the size of the object you want to see in the shooting process. So if you are going to see a grave, you may not be able to see a grave in a smaller shot. About the step interval. You should set a step interval smaller than the object you want to detect. For example, a step interval of 30 centimeters. You can view the tomb, but uh, when you try to catch a cube with a 50 centimeter pitch, you may or may not see it. Therefore, the size of the field of view should be at least twice the size of the object you want to see. The size of the step interval should be smaller than the object you want to see. When we press the OK button below, we are informed that we have completed the adjustments and are ready to start shooting. We press OK. We see the shooting screen. So, there are four icons above and one below on the shooting screen. As you can guess, the icon below is the start shooting icon. The icons above are respectively the leftmost interpolation and the icon next to it showing the detection values. Next to it is the icon showing the depth. The rightmost icon is the background color setting icon. You can set the background color between white and black by pressing this icon. Let's start our shot by pressing the start shooting icon at the bottom. According to the first settings we made, our shooting will start from the bottom left and will take place in parallel and will be set to 300 and 300. Our step interval was 30 centimeters. As we can see on the screen, our x-axis is 300, our y-axis is 300. Our step interval is 30, 60, 90, 30 centimeters as we set it. We can press our icon below to take our shot. As you can see, our icon, which was in the form of an arrow when we started shooting, has now turned into a sampling icon. Now when we press this button, we will take a sample. After each sampling, we will move forward 30 centimeters. As you can see, shooting process will be seen simultaneously on the screen when the shooting is made. When shooting is finished, or we are presented with the image in triplicate. After the shooting is over, from the presented icons, let's try to explain what these icons do. At the bottom, whereas before there was only one icon, now there are three icons. The one on the left is used for recording, the one in the middle for switching to twos and threes, and the one on the right for switching to fours. Let's see these. When we press the record icon, when we give this file a name, when we say OK. Now our shot is recorded. When we press the center icon, it switched to 2D. When we press it again, he switched to 3D. When we press the one on the right, residual product is shooting as 4D. If we press the center icon again, it appears in 3D. Let's make the shot in 3D for a better understanding. When we enter the interpolation types, you can select the interpolation you want here. For example, when we select linear and touch the screen, the interpolation type is now linear. As can be seen, the interpolation type, we were able to adjust it. 
when we press this icon, grids appeared and some numbers started to appear. Uh, these figures talk. When we press this icon, it indicates the detection values. We can look at the values wherever the detected region is. For example, here is the detection between minus 30 and plus 30. When we press the icon next to it, and now instead of detection values, shows depth. As can be seen, perceptions of 30 centimeters include perceptions of 125 centimeters.